Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, finding the mass in Inventor of an object. So here we are, um, we're, in, uh, we're in Inventor, and we've created a sketch here, a one by one, um, a one by one square, and we're going to go ahead and just extrude, extrude it. Um, so we left click on Extrude. The default is a one inches. Uh, it automatically selected our profile because it was the only two dimensional uh, space available in the part. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now you might think that by changing the material up here at the top, you might think that changing the material to say gold would allow you to immediately get the um, mass, but you would be incorrect. So, so let's see how we actually do it. So, so let's go over to the left here. Uh, and you see up at the very top where we have part. Okay, now you can do this in assembly to get the entire assembly mass. You can do it per part, but you need to go up the part level. You can't go here to extrusion. Okay, so you need to go up to part, right click, and you should see this eye properties. Left click on eye properties, and, uh, and this will open it. We can go over to the physical tab, and now we need to actually set the, the material on the physical tab here. So, so we're going to go ahead and click gold. Uh, and notice it immediately updates to be one, 0 0.697 uh, mass, lab mass. Okay, and you can just think of that as pounds. Um, if you want to go get into why it's lab mass and lot not lab force, you can, but it, it basically translates into what we think of in our everyday lives as pounds. Okay, so let's say that we um, uh, don't live in the US or the UK and uh, or anywhere else where you use pounds. Uh, uh, and let's say we want kilograms, okay? So let's go over and switch it over to kilograms. Let's go to tools. Uh, and then we're gonna go left click on tools, left click on document settings, left click on units. And then we're gonna switch from mass over to kilogram and click apply. Close, you can also click okay there. All right, let's go back over to, uh, we actually don't need to go anywhere. I'm just gonna click on 3D model just for good measure. And then we're gonna right click again on part, go back to eye properties. Click on physical again, and notice now we've switched over and now our reading is in kilograms. If we wanted to go ahead and change the, um, say, to iron or something else, we can do that as well. Okay, so that is how we take a um, the mass of an object in the uh, Best of luck. Have an amazing day.